Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the structured exception handling through the program. So first of all, we have created a form. This is form one. Then we change the text of the form, which is Ankit Varma. Here I have given my name. Then after we dragged and dropped one label, which is label one, and change the text. Structured exception handling. Here we are using the try catch block. That's why the name is structured exception handling. We dragged and dropped label two and change the text system exception. Here we are using the system exceptions, just like divide by zero exception, null reference exception. So these are the system exception, which system knows these are the exception. So that's why the name given is system exception. Then we dragged and dropped label three and label four and change the text first number and the second number. Then we drag and drop text boxes. This is text box one and text box two, where user will provide the values corresponding to first number and second number. Then we drag and drop one button. This is button one and change the text, which is divide. Then we double click on this button and the coding will open. Here we are having class form one. So for the form one class is created public because it can be accessed outside and it is ending with the end class. Inside that we are having the coding of button because you clicked on the button. That's where this code is available. Button one underscore click. This is the procedure name sub because it is having no return type then private because this procedure is the part of form. It is having two arguments first and second and it is going to handle button one dot click. So whenever you click on the button, this code will run and it is ending with the end sub. Now we are going to see that how this program will work. First of all, we are taking the normal execution. Let us suppose that there is a user who is going to provide the normal values just like four and two. Afterward, it click on the button. Now here the button coding will work dim x, y and z as long. So long type variables are declared, which is x, y and z. Then afterward x is equal to value of text box one dot text. So from text box one, we have taken the value four and save to x. Then we have taken z is equal to value of text box two dot text. So from text box two, we have taken the value two and we have given to the z. Then afterward, we are having the try block. So this complete block is the try block. We know that try block is going to check the code. Whatever the code we want to perform checking, this we are putting into the try. So here we are having y is equal to x divided by z. Now 4 by 2. 4 by 2 is nothing but 2. So the answer is 2. Here in the Y, we are having two and message box Y. So one message box is printed where we have displayed the value of Y, which is two. So from here, we are directly going on the message box. So this is the normal execution. Afterward, we can see that there is a catch block. This catch block is dependent upon the try. This block will only run when the exception will occur. So right now there is no exception. So this catch block will not work. Then afterward we are having is the finally. Finally block is the optional block. We provide it or not. This is totally our wish. But if we are providing it will for sure work. Even if your program is working fine or it is not working fine with the exception or without exception. Finally will for sure work. It is optional that you don't provide this block. No problem. But if you are providing, it will for sure work. Here we can see that in the normal execution, we have shown the message box. Then afterward, it will for sure show the finally block. In the finally block, we are showing that message box. The message box is printed and this is the finally block. So here this finally block will be shown and this is the end try. So we should understand one thing. Try block is for sure working because it is going to check the program. Catch block will only work when exception will occur. Otherwise, in this case, it is not working. Catch is dependent upon the try. And finally block is the optional block. But if you are providing it, it will for sure work.
Now we are going to see the program when exception occur. Let us suppose that we are re-executing this program and this time we are providing the values which is 4 and 0. So the user is going to provide the value 4 and 0 and we know that 4 divided by 0 will be infinity. So here whenever we provide 4 and 0 and click on the button then afterward code will execute for the button. Then variables are declared dim x, y, z as long. So these variables are declared. Then afterward x is having the value of text box 1 dot text. We know that the value is 4. So the 4 value is taken. Then z is having the value of text box 2 dot text. So in the text box 2 we are having 0. So this 0 value is taken into the z. Then afterward try. We know that try block will for sure work. It is running and checking the problem in the code. So in the code it is checking y is equal to x by z. Now here it will see that 4 by 0 will be infinity or not defined. So here it is a problem. In that case this line will not be executed. Try block sends that exception can encounter and it is directly calling the catch block. To catch the exception. It is not going to execute any of the line. Then afterward this is the catch block. Here the catch block will work because in the try exception encounter. So here in the catch block now ex as divide by zero exception. This is the exception which is the part of system. That's why we have used here system exception. In the system divide by zero exception is already available. So for that the object is created which is ex. Now from this ex object it is having the complete state of all the exception. First of all we are providing our own message. We are writing here message box. So here from this 4 by 0 it is directly going to the message box. Now here the message box is shown. In the catch block so here from the catch block. So here we can provide our own message which is exception divide by zero. So this is showing into the message box. Then afterward click on OK. Now we are using the object ex and from that object what it, it is taking. We are showing that. So message box we are showing so afterward it is the message box which is going to display. ex dot to string means Whatever is available in the ex, ex is the object of divide by zero exception which was created when the exception occur. So in the to string we are going to see the complete string. Here we can see that it is from system dot divide by zero exception. So it is showing that this is the divide by zero exception. Attempt to divide by zero here the user is going to divide by zero and at exception handling form 1 button 1. So this is showing the complete path where that exception occur and the complete path where our code is available and in which line, line number 7. So it is showing everything that exception is there dividing by 0. So the complete string is showing you. Then afterward we are having finally block. We know that the finally block is optional but if this block is available it will for sure run. So here afterward it is going to the finally block. In this finally block we are showing the message box. So this message box is shown and here the message is printed that finally block and afterward it is end try. So this is how the exception can be handled. So here we have taken two ways. One is the normal execution and second one is the with exception. And in both ways we have learned that the finally block is for sure going to work. Try block is going to scan the code. Catch block will work only if exception occur. Otherwise catch block will not work. Finally block is optional means you provide into the code or not. That is no matter but if you are providing it then it will for sure run even the exception is there or not. So that is how we can handle the exception using the try catch block and whenever we are using the try catch block that is called structured exception handling. So this is the program of structured exception handling where we have handled the system exception.